Hi, and welcome to Alpine Loggers Inside Boxing. I'm Norm Mikkelsen. We're here in Oneida on location to cover more interviews for the International Boxing Hall of Fame. Sitting with me here today is Willie Pep, the former featherweight champion of the world. Willie, I was always curious about how you got your nickname. Well, you know, my name is William Willie Papaleo, P-A-P-A-L-E-O, Pap Papaleo. And in school, they used to call me Pap, Papa, Papa. Nobody could pronounce the name. And they called me Peppy, Peppy, and that's how I got the name, Willie Pep. So about the nickname Willie O. the Wiss? Willie, well, Willie Wiss, the newspaper man in Hartford gave me that name. Okay. Uh, let me Wiss. run some stats down on you. You were born September 19th, 1922. Right. And you began your professional career in 1940. No, I began my professional career. I began my professional career in 1939 or 40. I'm sorry. You're right. You're right. Okay. I'm sorry. At I, the can't, age, yeah, at, I can't. I can't. I can't dot you down, Norm. You know what you're talking about. Sorry. At the age of 18. Uh, yeah, I was 18. I was yeah. 18, but I. No, I began my professional career when I was 17. 17. Yeah, I had my first professional fight when I was 17. Okay. But uh, what's the difference? You had 54 wins and no losses. 62 in a row. And then 62. I got beat. Okay. 62. Then I got the 63rd. I got beat by the lightweight champion of the world. I fought out of my class. Then I won 73 in a row. Jeez. Okay, I won well, the championship of the world, my 54th straight win. Oh, I see. Okay. Right. And he fought Chalky White. Chalky White. Right. Can you right. tell me about the Chalky White fight? Well, he was a great champion. He knocked everybody out. But, you know, if you don't hit you, you ain't going to knock you out. So I made sure he didn't hit me. I boxed him for 15 rounds. And uh, he didn't, as long as I didn't get hit, I didn't get hurt. So I won the fight. Like I say, now you've had so many. I think you hold, like say, you hold a record. 229 oh. wins. Nobody ever won more fights in the history of boxing. And, uh... In doing so, you, uh, you've had many, many successful title defenses. Oh, I defended the title about 11 times, off and on. Off and on. And, and uh, <clears throat> look over my research. In, on January 8, 1947, you had a, a very serious accident. I cracked up with a plane. Mm -hmm. I was champion of the world at the time. I was flying up from down south. I was, I was in Miami. I was coming up to Connecticut. I cracked up in New Jersey. I was off six months. Mm -hmm. But they told me I, I broke my back and broke my leg. And they said, Willie, you won't be fighting for a long, long while. Six months later, I was boxing. I got very lucky. I did well, and I was on my way again. But I wasn't supposed to fight ever again. It's amazing. The good Lord took care of me. That's, that's really right. Did. He really did. Okay. See, so what I've got, you know, is, is you came back after uh, after your accident. And you fought Sandy Sadly. Rolled yeah, that uh, he's a tough son of a gun, Sandy. He gave everybody trouble. He gave me a lot of trouble. He beat me a few times. And I think uh, your most famous fight was uh, was Sadler's. Uh, was it 19? 49, when I, when I beat him. Yeah, you beat him? Yeah, I beat him the second time I boxed him. 15 rounds. It was the hardest fight of my life. And I mean, I managed to beat the guy, but he's a great champion. You know, you know, how many years did you box? Phase two. Oh, I think I boxed it approximately. Uh, how many years did you box? About 10 years. 10 years? Just about. You boxed an amateur too a few That's years. That's right. Sandy and, I, Sandy and I boxed each other three or four times. I don't want to remember, but I have to tell you about it. <laughs> uh, we were both known as very colorful fighters, Sandy and I. We used to bleed all over the ring. <laughs> we're very colorful. I don't know, whenever I go to a party, who do they put next to me? Not a beautiful girl, my wife. They put Sandy next to me. <laughs> I'm getting a little sick of this. <laughs> I don't want to say that anymore. <laughs> Sandy. Tell these nice people, you had 162 fights, you say? Just about. All right. About. Who's the toughest guy you ever fight? Don't say your ex-wife. Well, uh, you was pretty tough. Thank you, you Sandy. Know. Well, you fought for all the great lightweights and waterweights of our time. You know that you fought a lot of great guys. Right? Yes, you're right. Give him the mic. Look, I'll give him the mic. I can't get it back if I give it to him. <laughs> Go ahead, say a few words. Say something, Sandy. Well, I was a featherweight champ of the world. And uh, thank God, I uh, told him how tough I was. I'm only kidding. Tosh Sandy was a great, great champion. But you know, one man's poison is another man's meat. I boxed a guy called Humberto Sierra, and he had fought Sandy, and somehow or another he had one of the decision over you, Sandy. But Humberto Sierra. So I trained with this guy, and I said to him, gee, I said, you know, I'm fighting Sandy in three weeks. He said, well, he says, you should do pretty good, he said, because you know, I fought Sandy, I managed to beat him, he said. What a big joke that was. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, if, if any questions you people want to ask Sandy and I, speak right up. Now, you had 162 fights? 
I only had 242 fights. Well, and I'm all right. And I'm all right, Sandy. No, no, I'm all right until I hear a bell. Uh, I believe I had just about approximately when 200. 200. You had that many fights, fights, huh? Yeah. What can I say? You know, you look damn good. You got plenty of money? <laughs> oh, yeah, pretty good. <laughs> good pretty for good. him. Well, folks, we all had a wonderful evening here. I want to thank Brophy for inviting me, myself and Sandy Sadler. If there's any questions you want to ask, we'll be glad to answer them. Quick. Any questions? Who's your toughest fighter? My wife. She's sitting over there. <laughs> right over there. Right over there somewhere. Well, I mean, you're looking at the right now. The guy beating you two or three times. You're looking at the toughest guy you ever fought right here. If it wasn't for Sandy Sadler, I'd still be champion of the world. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Pardon? Do you still bet baseball? I bet everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking to win if I can. <laughs> yes? I can answer my problem. I, I didn't hear her. How tall are you? How tall am I? Yeah. Six two. <laughs> uh, the, last, the, last, the last count was five feet six. That was the last right. count. And, and you know, I'm, I want to thank all these, all these great fighters up here for being here tonight because they're going to make wonderful actors. I'll tell you, they're all great actors. Yes, any other questions? <laughs> Say that again. Don't change the subject. Don't call you. <laughs> Five feet six. <laughs> okay, shorty. Okay, shorty. All right. Now behave yourself because I'll destroy you. <laughs> Any questions? Well, okay, okay, I say it, we're, we're glad to be here tonight. Matter of fact, Sandy and I are glad to be anywhere tonight. <laughs> <laughs> no questions. Thank you all very much. You know, Styles are very funny. You know, I boxed five guys that I beat to beat Sandy Sadler. Mm -hmm. And I, I didn't think I'd have any trouble with Sandy, but Styles are funny. One man's cake and another man's poison. Mm. Sandy was a tough guy. There was, uh, from one of the books that I read, there was, there was rumors about the first fight that you threw the fight. Like they, Say that again. They said uh, rumors circulated through after your first fight with Sandler that was a fix. That's not a nice question. I won't answer that question. It's oh, stupid. Oh, okay, no it's problem. Uh, talk about the punch and the, and, and uh, okay, Sadler's camp said that in your second fight, was it, that you were going to run like a thief? Well, I did. A box. <laughs> you See, box. Well, Boxing is different than running. Right. When you move around and don't get hit, that's running, but I was boxing. Yeah. If I didn't box me, he knocked me out. So you gave him a boxing lesson? So I, I think I, well, I won the fight. Once in a while, I got lucky. He beat me a couple of times. He's a great champion. Um, I'll give you a quote from the New York Times. They said that Pep replaced strength with experience and youth with endurance. Well, it worked. You know, I, I won. I beat him a second time, but he beat me a couple of times. I think one of the other quotes that I read was that every time you looked at uh, Sadler's face, you seen Willie's left hand. Well, I had to, had to hit him a lot of jabs because he's a tough son of a gun. He was always walking in, and it was tough. What would, uh, if you could look back over your whole career, you know, the 242 fights, is it just the Sadler fights that really stick out as, as your best? Well, 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 Norman, whenever you win a championship of the world, that sticks out. Mm -hmm. I won a title in 1942. It was a big night for me. Then I lost it. And then when I won the back, it was a great night of my life. You know, the big champion again, I was a two-time champion. That was a very big night, winning the back. Okay. You were inactive from 1960 to 64? Was that just because you wanted a break, or...? Uh... No, no I, I just laid off. I didn't think I wanted to fight. But I came back in 65 or 60, 65 or 66 for a couple of fights. 10, 11 fights I had. But, uh, you know, I was, it was a shell. That wasn't much. But I, I wanted to fight, whatever. But I couldn't fight anymore. Okay, you look at, say, the featherweights today versus the featherweights of your era. Any comparison? Well, they, they got they got good featherweights around today, but not as many good ones as we had. We had an awful lot of good featherweights. We had Sandy Sadler, Phil Terranova, uh, Chalky Wright, Sal Bartolo. We had a lot of great featherweights. Mm -hmm. But now there's a few, but not many great ones. That's the only difference. Uh, you know, with the <clears throat> with boxing collectors and boxing historians, they always talk about great fights or dream fights. Um, are you familiar with the career of Alexis Arguello? 
a great fighter. He's a good fighter. How would a fight between Pepe and Arguello would have went, maybe? Well, well did, did you read? It? it came out with a with a with an article in a sports paper, a sports magazine last year. They gave me the decision. Mm-hmm. They gave. I, I boxed him. And, you and, boxed and, him and won a decision. They gave me the decision. Okay. Uh, after you. But got, I don't know how I done it for real, but yeah. they gave me the decision. Okay. Um, when you got out of boxing and you officially retired, uh, what did you do to keep active, keep busy? Well, I didn't do too much. I went to work and. That was it. Pretty well laid. I was a good, a good old man for a brewery, and then I went to work for the state of Connecticut as a boxing inspector. Mm -hmm. I just retired. I was there 15 years. Tonight's broadcast of Inside Boxing on Channel 10 Halifax has been funded by Alpine Lager Beer, proud supporters of boxing in the Maritimes. This one's yours.